Hello and welcome to a fresh and exciting episode of The, the Learner's Court. This is that show that encourages, promotes and provides platform for mm -hmm. young filmmakers and experimental film to showcase their work. You know, you'll be amazed at how many talents are being churned out on a daily basis through this learning amazing process. You, Alex, should anyone shy away from learning really? Filmists, as we all know, Life on its own is a learning process. Yes, exactly. So the more we learn, the better we get in whatever endeavor we choose to take up in life. And the better we become master of our crafts. Stay with us, we'll be back shortly. Okay. Thank you. Being harsh sometimes. In firmness, you can't. You, you don't are, think you don't go you together. Are, you are yeah. just being firm is being, not being harsh. The director is never meant to be harsh. Once you get angry, you lose your people. If you think of an institution to learn, to be mentored, and to grow both academically and professionally, then think DeLong School of Art, Film, and Communication. The school is designed with state-of-the-art equipment, conducive learning environment, trusted and well-trained lecturers in each various departments of art, film, and communication. So if you have written the UTME examination and scored 160 and above, waste no time to pick up our forms to register for the OND Professional Diploma and Certificate Program at the school campus 5 Tola Adewomi Clues, Tat Estate, Maryland, Lagos or call 0805 7949 519 or 0816-0601-057 D-Long School of Arts, Film and Communication, inspiring creativity and innovation. Everybody on the production set has a part to screen. Hey, you can be part of the show too. All you need is a short film. Submit your short film and get an opportunity to be invited to our studio. Let's give you some exposure. Let's make your dream come true. Visit our website and follow the instructions. The Lennus Court. Yes. Speaks volume. Welcome back, viewers. How are you all doing? Last week was explosive. And we want to thank all those who came in with their comments online. We, we really do appreciate your comments. Thank you. Keep them coming. How are you, Wilfred? We're doing great, babe. You know, we didn't end our discussion last week. I know you had to fight today. <laughs> <laughs> I know you had to fight. Just don't disagree with me. Uh, well, How are you I'll try not to. I'm fine, thank you. Yeah, how are you how doing? Was, how's the week been for you? It's been beautiful. So in the course of the week, I was on this film set and somebody was, you know, the director was angry. I was really taking it out on the actors. Well, while I understand that mm -hmm. Some of these actors can really be very, very, very yeah. irritating. Yeah, yeah, you know, they, they can make you really, they can push you to, to that moment. limit where you just explode. Yes. He went on and on and with anger and all of that. So somebody said the directors ought not to be harsh. And I said, in that instance, in fact, not that instance, always the director should be harsh. I, I don't think I don't think it's it's wrong, you know. I, I mean, what's your take on that? My point of view, I feel that the director is not talking to a child. Oh, okay. He's not talking to a child, so there's really no reason to shout. He okay. can just have a conversation with a. With I, I'm, a I'm sure her, Alex holds a different view. No, I tend I tend to agree with her actually. You know, no matter how um, you know, it's his job and responsibility to make production go on. Yes. And you need to be able to work with anybody, regardless of if the person is giving you an attitude. As a director, you need to be able to know your, you know, everybody on your production. There's certain ways you can handle people, right? Mm -hmm. There are some that give you the best. If you're harsh towards them, they will yes. you never yes. get anything out of them. Maybe this week, you know? Wolfred is going to be on my path. <laughs> well, um, I... Partially want to be on your side, okay. and um, partially want to be on the other side. So I'm on the wall on this. But the knowledge we know of a director, that the director is the one starting with the creative license of a production, and the, the the director is like a father in a house. Every other they are like the administrative arms are like the mother because they did nurture the production. But the 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 head of a production is the director. 
Okay. No matter how bad it is, you should be able to manage your anger. Temper. Yeah. I like the fact that you said the director is like a father. Do we all know how much we we are scared we of are scared. our fathers? <laughs> yes, no. No, but have Those you ever friends. seen have you ever seen what happens to children? That comes of oh, his father. Good. Of his father. Yes, my dad. Oh no, no, your father was disciplined. <laughs> look, look, that's why I said that. There, there's, it gets to that point where maybe you should, be, you should be able to like put that two things apart: discipline and I harsh. Agree. It's two yes, different I things. It's you. all still being you. harsh. Yes. Either you're disciplined. It's you, you. There's no way you can be disciplined and, without uh, no, enforcing no. some level of harshness. No. Yes. The director is never meant to be harsh. Yes. The uh -uh. director is meant to so. communicate his idea to people. Okay, Look, do one, you know that communication actually, is different. Communication you know that actually is when I, I actors that can push you to that limit. But you don't yes. have to be angry. You don't oh, have to get or do you angry. Want your work because done? once once you get angry, do you want your job done? Look, once you get angry, you lose your people. You lose. You're already angry. You are. Do you are you biting at something. No, no, no. Let, let, let me tell you. Being harsh sometimes enforces that that the job. No, you only create grumbling no. people. You end up getting grumbling no. people. Why you? Why? I'm why? Why? Why, mm -hmm. why, why, are, why you are being harsh? Is because you never <laughs> set a standard from the beginning of the from the onset of the production. If you set your standard, nobody is going to when they go against that standard. Yeah. What will, standard? No, you set a standard. There are a lot you of set a limit. The, oh, no, you set, you, you, how no. do you enforce those limits? Now let me Do tell you. Do you know that there are let, people let that are natural limit breakers or standard breakers? I think there's there a standard them. here. For example, let me give you an example. You get on the set yeah. and there's a standard. Don't do this while on set. Don't do that. Do you know that there are people who, after reading whatever, it is just their joy to do that? Oh, that how do you set your limit. Look, you, whenever, you whenever, whenever an actor gets on set, mm. yeah, but generally our creative directors are my are, are, no, are supposed director. to be first. People read that you should be able to read people. Read people. Oh, yes, yeah. no, no, if you don't know how to read people, that. you will have issues. You, yes, because there are some people that will come with their bag of attitude. First, shock them because they will not see the substance of what you are saying. Communicate okay, so your you person you to you them. To yes, at you what point then should the directors be harsh, or they should you never don't be necessarily harsh. have to be harsh. I would you say being harsh. Be when firm. does it take action? Be firm. Or when does you it take a firmness? No. Okay. You're just trying to use words. No, I don't. Is 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 is. You know. At the end of the day, is what is what is what. Look, is no no no. Give me that one. This is being harsh. That let me help. No no no. It's communication. What? If I what tell you, you Busola, you Busola, I don't like what you're doing now. Have I, have I insulted you? No. You've done something before I insult you. Well, but when you say harshness, is you say, you say no, I'm shutting down. No, 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 don't come with that nonsense idea of yours. It's two different but things. let's leave idea. No, let's no, that's example. harshness. And bluntness. Yes, that's the tool of a director sometimes. Yes, they need those bluntness. They need that harshness. No, you can't. Do between the then, between then, look. So what, you what, what you have are... Uh, kind uh, of human beings that are on set. You think all the people on set are just there for you. Do you know with harshness? you set the standard. You know, you know, you, but you know with harshness. You know with harshness, what you are getting out of actors yeah, is you. With your what? With, with your harshness, what you are getting out of actors is you. Well, that's because they are supposed to see. come with an uh, with with at I least part of their own know. idea of how this thing. They, they are supposed to come with an interpretation of of theirs. What if their interpretation of, doesn't tally with mine? But that's because your interpretation, interpretation of it is not a, a dictator. Becoming a dictator, is yeah, not because that's the word. Making them, you're trying to make them. They're not your slave. You're mm. supposed to work with them, you're supposed to understand them, and you're supposed to be able to strike the balance, you see. Between there are certain them. times so when in you when need I, I to want be to get this. firm. I do, do you I think... Say harsh. You need to be firm. You know, That's the word. You said it. Yes. You dictatorship, you guys, firmness. Yeah. You can't. You, you don't think you don't go you together. Are, you are just being firm being, is not being harsh. You're just trying to use sweet words to say... No, you know, this okay, is, so in, why so is... Give me an example of firmness. I want you to come on set. Call time is 7 a.m. Yeah. Do you know that some people will read that word as being harsh? We can we can, we can say it's, it's a bit of both. 50-50, right? Yeah. No. I, 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 I don't say... I, I don't agree anyway. I think they shouldn't come in at all. Okay, so, well... I quite agree with you, Alex. I think a director should know it should be a balanced thing. He should know when to be harsh and when not to be. Yeah, so um, join us if you still think that it is not so, because I still hold a little bit of it. 
No, there's no right or wrong answer. So you can join us on, on social media. Let's hear your own views about it. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after the break. It's not like um, I love darkness, though. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. But it's just that um, the whole scenario of the movie actually happened at night. If you think of an institution to learn, to be mentored, and to grow both academically and professionally, then think D. Long School of Art, Film, and Communication. The school is designed with state-of-the-art equipment, conducive learning environment, trusted and well-trained lecturers in each various departments of art, film, and communication. So if you have written the UTME examination and scored 160 and above, waste no time to pick up our forms to register for the OND Professional Diploma and Certificate Program at the school campus 5 Tola Adewomi Clues, Tat Estate, Maryland, Lagos or call 0805-7949-519 or 816 the Long School of Arts, Film and Communication, inspiring creativity and innovation. Are you a short film maker and you don't know what to do with the film? Do you have a short film and you don't have a platform to showcase it? Wow. Here is the show that showcases, encourages, and promotes your short film. The Learner's Code. Submit your short film on our website www.dlongcommunications.com and follow the instructions. young filmmaker Clara Osiju. You're welcome to the program. Thank you very much. So how's the journey been so far in filmmaking? Well, thank God. It's been quite stressful though, but we're pushing it. Well, I, I quite like the caption of your short film, Another Dark Night. So what influenced um, the title? Originally, I never had the intention of giving it that title, Another Dark Night. Right. I had in mind giving it One Dark Night. But during the course, I was told there was someone who had already written a script about to be produced with that caption. And then I thought, and one thing, I never wanted to give it a name that everyone would already know what's happening in the movie. So I thought, like, I need something very captivating. Mm. So I thought of Another Dark Night. So what's your fascination about darkness, really? It's not like um, I love darkness, though, <laughs> don't get me wrong. Mm. But it's just that um, the whole scenario of the movie actually happened at night. So mm. that's Creative. your solution. Creative. So was it, um, was it a student's project or was it an experimental one? It was a student project. Um, yeah, it was a student project. I did that when I was at... Um, Greg Philip College of Technology, right. Maryland. So how has the journey been since you left Greg Philip? First of all, I would say um, I'm lucky and I thank God that I attended Greg Philip because it's really opened so many doors to me. Interesting. Since then, I've been on different projects, like different movies. I've featured in some movies, but as, as a cast and a crew. So I really thank Greg Philip. So you're ready for all the challenges that come along with filmmaking, right? Of course, I'm 100% sure. Okay, we're going to play a little throw and catch challenge. I hope you're ready for that. <laughs> oh my goodness, I mean, is this a let? No, this is a new. Actually, this is very beautiful. Yes, that Some... is from the producers of Lena's Cut. Oh my god, thank and you. And I wish very you all the best. Thank you, Lena's Cut, thank you. We're going to view the short movie by Clara Osuji. And we'll be back shortly.
If you think of an institution to learn, to be mentored, and to grow both academically and professionally, then think DeLong School of Art, Film, and Communication. The school is designed with state-of-the-art equipment, conducive learning environment, trusted and well-trained lecturers in each various departments of art, film, and communication. So if you have written the UTME examination and scored 160 and above, waste no time to pick up our forms to register for the OND Professional Diploma and Certificate Program at the school campus 5 Tola Adewomi Clues, Tat Estate, Maryland, Lagos or call 0805 7949 519 or 0816-0601-057 D-Long School of Arts, Film and Communication, inspiring creativity and innovation. Everybody on the production set has a part to thing. Hey, you can be part of the show too. All you need is a short film. Submit your short film and get an opportunity to be invited to our studio. Let's give you some exposure. Let's make your dream come true. Visit our website and follow the instructions. Lennus Court. Yes. Speaks volume. Dive into her stomach. She screamed and fell. Yes, I killed, I killed my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> If you think of an institution to learn, to be mentored, and to grow both academically and professionally, then think DeLong School of Art, Film, and Communication. The school is designed with state-of-the-art equipment, conducive learning environment, trusted and well-trained lecturers in each various departments of art, film, and communication. So if you have written the UTME examination and scored 160 and above, waste no time to pick up our forms to register for the OND Professional Diploma and Certificate Program at the school campus 5 Tola Adewomi Clues, Tat Estate, Maryland, Lagos or call 0805-7949-519 or 0816-0601-057 D-Long School of Arts, Film and Communication, inspiring creativity and innovation. Are you a short film maker and you don't know what to do with the film? Do you have a short film and you don't have a platform to showcase it? Wow. Here is the show that showcases, encourages, and promotes your short film. The Lennus Cult. Submit your short film on our website. 
www.dlongcommunications.com and follow the instructions. Wow, wow, another dark night. Filmist, what was your take on that one? Uh, I mean, that film is indeed another dark night. I mean, Absolutely. it feels there's this spooky, yeah, um, scary thing um, about... So much of, you know, the spookiness. Yeah. It was the sinister, you know, the uh, twist, the exactly, directional style exactly. of the director. Yeah. It was excellent. I mean, look at what that young lady has been able to do within how many months of learning. Mm. Wonder what she will be in the next two, three, four years down, down the, the line. line. Yeah. I mean, uh, it's, it's fantastic. It is. Well, I mean, that's what the Learner's Court is all about. You can send in your short movies to our website, www.dlongcommunications.com. Also, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter on the address showing on your screen right now. Don't forget to drop your comment. And if you have missed any episode or you want to watch this episode again, go to our YouTube channel, also on the screen right now. See you again next week. Bye. Bye.